Welcome back to Cricket Content on my channel, everyone. Oh my goodness, Australia and the World 11. If you didn't know, that's exactly what we're doing today in a T20 clash because in Cricket 24, we're going to have our own ultimate team style mode. So you're going to have teams like this that are put together with the elite of the elite in the world, uh, just like I've done here. And this team that I've chosen is a T20 team. It's the T20 team of the year from last year. And that will be taking on my Australian lineup at the MCG. Paddy Cummins with the Sunnies on. Interesting choice here. As the World 11 have won the toss. Will they be bowling and chasing? Perhaps? They get a bat first. Interesting. So they're going to set the target that the Aussies will chase. I'm excited about this one. Haven't played Cricket 22 in quite a while. And it's been probably at least a month or two. So we'll see how I go. I'm probably going to be rubbish. Josh Hazelwood coming in with the new rock. Oh, and he gets an edge first ball. It's an inside one, and Butler gets a boundary in the end. That's actually not the worst start, but I would have loved that to be out. Wait. This time, no run, so... Wait so I don't want to see any complaining about people saying, oh, you didn't pick this person, because I literally have just picked the T20 team of the year. That's all. I reckon any score above 170 is, is a very good score here. That's played nicely. If they want to, it's going to be tricky. Cummins going to the keeper's end. We'll keep it to one. Six from the first. Pretty good over. Edged and oh, it does not carry. That one's fired in. Played away. Should just be the one. Good bit of fielding. Stops it. Mitchell Marshall send this back in and they're actually going to get three. Now, one thing you notice, it was a bit stiff there. Might have been the fielding in this game, which is one thing that I probably do have re reasonable complaints about is the fielding in Cricket 22. And from all reports, we are going to have rejuvenated fielding in Cricket 24. Not sure what it's going to look like just yet, as there's a leading edge here, which could be a run out. Will this sort of quick time thing be in the new game? And have we just got a run out of a free hit? Hang on a moment. Oh, it's very close, Warner. Joss Butler, the quick single on the free hit. He is going to be given out here. And this is one mechanic I don't hate in this game, but if it doesn't return in the next one, I won't be surprised. Butler give it out, it's one for 10. The World 11 lose their first. Yep. Oh, that is a smashing shot through the covers. I don't think Cummins will get there. Yep. Well, that's pulled away. Probably get a couple of runs here. Oh. Danger, danger, the bowler's end. Danger, danger, danger. I'm not gonna run him out because I know how dodgy that looked. We're not gonna do that. Oh, that is a ripper, Hazelwood. That is a ripper. Yep. Oh, goes over mid-wicket, Rizwan. Another boundary. So 30 off the first four, one wicket to fall in Wait that there. time. Australians have been relatively okay with the ball. And for the World 11, similar sort of situation. Rizwan's been the dominant player. Yep. Oh, and that's probably the best shot of the day so far. All the way to the boundary. Really ramping him up at the beginning of this yep. inning. Because I feel like Hazel will be the better one later. That's in the air from Rizwan. Is it all the way to the boundary? It is. Poor fielding there. That's something you would like to see fixed in the new game. Yep. This time he hits a full face of the bat on it. Rizwan. He wants a quick single. He's not going to get it. Oh, it's very close. I think this is out. Oh, he's gone. He's absolutely gone, Virat. It was never on. And uh, they deserve to lose that wicket. I've given them plenty of chances here with the runouts. Not this time. Two for 43. Surya Kuma Yadav is in. It's off the mark straight away with a single. Might have been off a no ball as well, but hopefully not. Yeah, it is. So last ball, the power play. Take two. Yeah. He's hit it in the air. There's a fielder down there. Should take it and throw it back in to just be worth the two. Two for 48 after six. So they're going at eight and over. Oh, and that was in the air as well. But they'll get it through the gap. Should be a couple. Cummins does nicely. Just the five from the Zampa over. Oh, and that's an edge, and that's four. Wow. 
Rizwan, 37 from 28. He holds the key for the World 11 side. Yep. That's a way through mid wicket. There is no one really there. Can it be saved? Not quite. I think it's Mitch Marsh in the deep, unable to get to it. Oh, he struck him on the pad. That looked close. Got him. The first wrong of the game, and it delivers an absolute plum decision, I think. Yadav trying to sweep, gets him caught. That's right on the off stump, and that's hitting all three, if I'm honest. It's three for 65. Oi, that is a reverse sweep from Phillips off his first ball. Dangerous decision. Gets away with it for one. Oh, we do, and it's out. He's edged. Rizwan departs. The finger goes up. Zampa has two in the over. And Australia are looking the goods. It's a big time over from Zampa. Yeah, it just hits the edge. It's, everything about that was fantastic. Four for 66. World 11, they're falling apart. As Raza now comes to the middle. Do we bowl another wrong one? Seems to be the wicket ball. Zampa's taken two for three in this over after that single. Oh, well bowled that. What an over from Zampa. Two for four coming from it. It's four for 68. So with just over 10 overs to go here, the World 11 really need to up the ante, you feel, given the Australians have just got on top and breaking that partnership in the last over. If Cummins and Co can really deliver a couple of more wickets. It's uh, pretty close to a knockout blow here on this World 11 innings. Yes. And given the caliber of Australia's batting, give, like obviously I'm probably gonna collapse at some stage, but given I've got enough quality in there, they really need a score of I think 150 uh, to 160 to be competitive here. Oh, that's lovely. Wait in. Yep, yep. Oh, it gets through the gap. And it is four. Oh, he came down the wicket and it was almost taken by that sort of square gully. It's just about putting that ball in the dangerous space. But they don't want to risk hitting it. Oh, wow. Run him out. Raza, five from six. Phelps, 13 from 13. Yes. That's found the gap. And that could go all the way, but it's a long boundary out there. Adam Zampa in the deep doing some nice work. It's not the wisest field positions. Oh, but he's bowled him! Oh, Mitchell Marsh, the change in the attack. Goes onto his pad. Cannons into the stumps. And that's see you later for Glenn Phillips. A real disappointment to end his innings. Five for 89. Could he get another one here? Go, 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 go. That's the one. Yep. Oh, that's whipped away. Fielder is out there. Does nicely. That's Josh Hazelwood. I'm not running you out, mate. Oh, it's hit him on the back pad, but I don't think he's in line at that point. Edged, and I don't know if it's been taken or not. No, it hasn't. Let's have a look here at the drop. Edged. Oh, yeah, just bobbled right out of the right hand of Matthew Wade. Yep. Oh, straight down the ground. It could be six. It could be out. Mitchell Starks underneath it. And he takes the catch. Pandy are out for eight. Six for 101. Brings Curran to the middle. Mitch Marsh, two for 10 from his 1.5. Probably not going to give him another over because that is just absurd figures. Yep. Oh, that's four. That's what Raza needs to be doing. Finding the boundary. Yep. Alright, that's away. And all of a sudden, Raza has started to find a bit of form. Yep. And that's pulled straight to mid on. So, we'll get the one. Zampa back into the attack. Can he yep. st stem the flow? This should be a wicket. Curran's hit it straight to Stoinis. Yeah. And on the move, he takes the catch. Seven down, the World Eleven. Now Kasaranga in, and now Australia will feel they can go in for the kill. Oh, that's out, I reckon. Oh, send it upstairs. Oh, yes, if we get Raza here, we'll go to the ball tracking decision. 
does it hit in line? Pitching outside off. Impact is outside off because that was definitely going on to hit the stumps. The World 11 survive. Gee, that was a key moment. Yep. And this time he comes down the wicket, Raza, and he sends it into the fans for six. All the way. But right now he is the last hope and he is gone. Zampa gets through him. He takes his fourth. He's just playing all around that shot. The bail wiggling in the air. Eight for 123. Going the very aggressive field here, Australia. A couple of slips in. Oh, no, no. Run him out, run him out, Mitchell. Run him out. You're right there. You are right there. Oh. Round the wicket. Oh, how was it missed the stumps, that? Mitch Marsh has been given another over. I didn't think I would give it to him, but he's been one of the better bowlers today. Probably deserves to bowl a third. And Stoinis has actually done a really good job to keep that in. We might only save one run in the end, if at all. I think they might have run four. <laughs> so we didn't, didn't save anything, really. Oh, that's four. That is lovely. Yep. This is away. Is it four? It's slapped in from Hazelwood. Stoinis will throw it back. Out. Out, out, out. Give it. Absolutely no chance. That is hitting middle and leg. Oh, was this going down? Oh, wicket's umpire's call. Actually very lucky in the end there, the Australians. Could have easily been given not out, and given we didn't have a review, it'd have survived. Yeah. It's a bizarre field I've got going on here. Seems a bit unnecessary. Yeah. Oh, gets it through the gap. That'll be four. Can't see Hazelwood stopping it. Nine, yeah. I think he is. That's a ringer. Gets them to 9 for 154. Somewhat of a defendable total, the World 11. They got quality bowlers in their team. Can they do it? Let's recap that innings. There was a couple of runouts to begin with Butler and Coley both out for five. Rizwan then departed off Zampa, who got both he and Yadav when he came in the attack. So really good stuff from the Australian bowlers. Zampa and Mitch Marsh with the keys. Let's see what we can do with the bat. Harris Ralph to David Warner to start us off. Yes. And he goes over the top, Warner. And he finds the gap and he finds the boundary. And I think Australia are going to be aggressive early. In fact, I know we are because it's me playing. So I'm going to do it. It's already a deep cover goes back. Opens up a cut shot, perhaps. Yes. Oh, that's a bit straight. Tight single. Saw the uh, World 11 get run out like that. Oh, he's edged it. And it's carried and he's out. First ball. Wow, what a wicket. I was going to say, we all remember that famous New Year's Eve Travis Head innings where he hit the six off uh, his last ball to bring up the 100. That is a disappointing dismissal. Australia one for five. Head golden duck. Australia's T20 World Cup hero, Mitchell Marsh. Back in 2021, of course, I'm talking about. Comes to the middle at number three. And he pulls it away and that might have been a chance. Was that a chance put down first ball? Ralph went short, knew he'd take it on, he did. And yes, it was a chance. Oh boy, yes. Rizwan. Yes. That is a moment in this game. That would have been two for, two for five Australia at that point. Yep. Oh, that's better for Mitch Marsh. Punches it through the covers. And it goes all the way. Comes in and Warner spanks that. What a shot. Yes. Oh, it's away again. Away again. Should be two. Edged out. The outswing from Little. And Warner departs. That is a lovely delivery. You can see it just shape away. Get the edge and get the catch. He's, he's gone short a few times, Harris Ralph. I'm, I'm very tempted if he does it again to just pull it. Wait there. Instead, I've gone straight to the man. Oh, my Lord. Wow. Smith gone. He's just sort of spooned it straight to, to a point. It's three for 18. We're in all sorts. Just like my hair. 
I mean, who could have seen this coming? Apart from anyone who watched the Big Bash series and saw how poorly I batted time and time again. That'll make it nice. Oh, tight single get there. Oh, no. Not again. Another one falls. Maxwell this time. I didn't even feel like that was an illogical shot. He's out for five. It's four down, Australia. And I'm actually running out of batsmen. Stoinis doesn't find the gap. Now, Stoinis is a player that if you just give him a little bit of time, he gets going. So that's what we've got to do. Just give him a bit of time at the crease. Same with Mitch Marsh. This, these two are very capable batsmen of scoring big T20 scores. We've seen it happen. It's just a matter of uh, me being capable of doing it. I don't necessarily know that I am. But I have to believe. Yep. That's a way. Fielder is very fine. Look for three. Yes. Go oh, get it through, he does. Bit lucky, Stoinis, but he'll find the boundary. Yes. Oh, shot. It's away for four from the Stoin. Yep. Oh, and that's through the gap, that's four. So, four for 43 after five. Oh, gee, that was a really risky yes. shot. In the end, I'm lucky to probably get away with a boundary. Yes. Oh, leading edge from Curran. His change of pace, I think, is definitely dangerous. Yep. That's a better pace. I'll, I prefer that. If he's more warmed up and that's what I'm getting, that's a bit easier. Oh, bang. Stoinis sends it long. I saw it was like almost a full toss, so I thought I'm going to take it on, and I did. All the way. All the way for six. Yep. Oh, outside edge. Mitch Marsh. That's a boundary. Some poor fielding. That's luck. Boy, that's nice. Real change up from Curran. Boy, can't find the gap. One to win the over. Four for 75. Big offside chance if it's two full. And it was two full, and Stoinis is in this sort of a form. He doesn't get all of it, and it's enough for four. Four again, Stoinis. You can't afford to have an offside gap. Because it's probably the easiest shot to hit in the whole game is, is this shot over the offside. If it's over the leg side, it's much more difficult, I feel. Oh, saved by the stumps. Oh, miss hit. But he's got it into the gap, Mitch Marsh. And that's four runs. And all it probably needs is like one more good over. You know, like a 14 run over to really put us ahead of the whole game here because it's just a run of ball. All right, Harris Ralph back in. He's got two for 31. Yes. Can he be the one to provide the breakthrough? He gets an edge off the first ball. Oh, it's quick. Does it go through Marsh quick enough? Is it going on to hit the stumps? This is very close. I would not be surprised if this is sent upstairs. Geez, it hasn't been. Oh, this is very, very close. It went straight through Marsh. They chose not to review, and I think it's costly. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. That is the most plumb non-decision you'll ever see. And the non-review is just bizarre. They have missed a moment there. This time Mitch Marsh gets full face of the bat onto it. We'll pick up two to win the over. It's four for 102. And he hits it in the air and he hits it over the top and he finds the boundary and he finds a 50. Brilliant knock this. It's been very important. And this could be the breakthrough they need. Stoinis just with a mind lapse. And I've gifted a wicket back. Off Little's last ball. That's what I get for talking. It's 512. Stoinis disappointed in himself. If you find a few boundaries like that, it's sorted. Oh, that's too wide. You can't be doing that. You can't be doing that. Yeah, mate. 
It was almost as if Stoinis getting out was just the spur that Marsh needed to actually kick on and he's brought up his own half century within the next over. Seven boundaries, three of those in this over. Oh, and he's out. The very next ball. Have a look at this from Pandya. It nips in. It goes straight through the middle of the bat, if you don't mind. And it hits middle stump. It is just gone straight through the guts. Oh, well. Oh, yeah. Well done, Wadey. That's lovely. Oh, that's a full toss. And he's reverse swept that as well. Yep. Oh, it's a top edge from Wade, and it's safe. And it's four. And he's just really got away with lucky this over. Yep. It's in the air. It's going to fall safe. Cummins picks up two. 17 from the over. Australian in 11 to win. Yep. Oh, tried. Just the one. Right there. Oh, dropped. Well, if they were any chance to win, they had to hold on to that catch. It's two drop chances from the World 11 today. This one, Cummins. Cummins hits it for six. And the scores are level now. That's an absurd shot from Patrick Cummins. Who is going to do the right thing. Hit it down the ground. Close to the boundary. But it'll win the game for the Aussies by four wickets in a very con convincing chase in the end. But I was very concerned at the start. At four for 25, there were serious problems. Stoinis and Marsh guiding the Aussies home to a fantastic four wicket win. As you can see, Mitch Marsh, player of the game, two for 24 and 51 runs with the bat as well. Uh, if you want to see more Australia v World 11 stuff before the launch of Cricket 24, let me know. Uh, because obviously I'm not going to be doing a whole heap of cricket things before then. Um, and this is probably one of the only things that I might be doing. But that in mind, it's probably only about eight weeks till we get that game. So get excited. There'll be a new career mode. There'll be ultimate team stuff. There'll be lots of things that we'll be doing with that game as well when it does come out. So thank you all for watching. Hope you did enjoy today's video. Until next time, I'll see you all later. Goodbye.